It will be the last time I have to wear a swimming top. It's gonna be a long fucking two weeks. Mm. Yeah. I am sweating. It is Sunday, April 23rd, and we are about to leave to go to Cleveland for my top surgery. I'm so nervous and excited. My anxiety is like through the roof. And I'm having a very hard time trying to hold my heart rate down as much as possible. But we got everything packed because I am staying the night at the hospital the first night. We didn't set the room up yet only because we want to wash the sheets. You get the sheets washed. We have an extra set of sheets that we want to take off of the bed when we get back and then take everything off kind of already have everything set up over here and inside this first drawer has like all the benadryl the stool softener and so on and so forth i have the reading pillow that i have yet to set up yet like i said we're going to change everything around i will have probably marissa filming everything just to like be prepared and like show everybody like the raw side of this we have a few things left that we still have to do and then we'll be on our way i'll see you guys in a bit Yes. Thank you so much. Made it to the room. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the hotel room. First walk in closet. Probably will not be using that whatsoever. No point leading into the bathroom. I did the little microwave not really quite sure what this is yo refrigerator we got double beds because my sister and my nephew will be sleeping in this bed and then me and marissa has already called and claimed <laughs> that bed i already got the jeans and clothes laid out for tonight because we're going out to dinner with my mom and my dad we're definitely going to utilize the pool in this hotel because it will be the last time i have to wear a swimming top a bathing suit oh my gosh the only thing i'm gonna have to wear after this is just my swimming trunks it's insane <laughs> Have our night clothes already laid out for tonight and then i already have my clothes laid out for where i'm going to wear to the hospital and then after i change out of my clothes and get ready for my surgery i have to stay in the hospital so in my to-go bag i have my other clothes that i'm going to be changing into on tuesday morning i wanted to just have new fresh clothes no type of infections or anything along those lines i wanted to make sure everything was just clean the view that we have is literally the view to the parking lot but i mean across the street but the hospital is literally just maybe one block that way. The Cleveland Clinic main campus. We have everything ready. We're just chilling. My mom and my dad is upstairs in another room. We're probably going to go up and see what they're doing here in a minute. And then we have plans for dinner tonight. Come back. Definitely have access to that pool. I'm so excited. I'm definitely excited to bring you guys along as well. You have anything you want to say to the vlog, babe? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm not nervous. Everything's gonna be good. We love his team, his surgeon, the nurse practitioner. Like, mm -hmm. everybody's amazing. I have no worries about the surgery at all. And I'm not worried about taking care of you or literally anything. Why are you so nervous? I guess more for like the recovery part of it. You got me. I know, but like, it just sucks. Like, I hate the idea of like having to just be in so much pain in order to like have the body that I want. Yeah, like, it's very unfortunate. It sucks. And just the thought but process behind it all. You should switch your thought process though and then Instead of focusing on the pain that you have to go through to get the body that you want, that you're in this position that you're able to, to get the do. body that you yeah, want. Yeah, a lot of people are not are in this position, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and a lot of people would literally kill to be in your position. Yeah. So you are very much lucky and in a place of privilege to yeah. get the body that you want. 100%. And I definitely feel bad for all the you know trans people out there, especially for like the trans kids. Mm -hmm. as well like having to fight for so much stuff right now so i definitely i just made a post on instagram you guys are not going to see this till later but <laughs> definitely made a post on my instagram of just like you know i'm so honored and so happy and so lucky to have had the opportunity to get this surgery done and then i'm also feeling a little bit of like almost like guilt just sucks like at the same time that I want everybody to be able to have the opportunity to get this surgery and to be able to live the life to the fullest like I'm doing and yeah it just it sucks it hurts I'm happy and I'm sad like all the emotions is just insane so we'll see you guys at dinner <laughs>
we are going to the pool. Let's go. Last time wearing a bathing suit. So exciting. Last time in this bad boys of you all. day of surgery and Ooh. I could not get much sleep last night. <laughs> we all had to yell at him. Literally. Yeah. Tell me to lay down, relax, stop rolling, tossing and turning. Oh. You'll do plenty of sleeping today. Plenty of sleeping today for sure. <laughs> Cohen's getting his first meal mm. after surgery. Let's see what we got on the menu. Grapes. Yeah, we got cinnamon apples, mm -mm. red grapes, mashed potatoes, carrots, a dinner roll. You got chicken and gravy and a pork loin, garlic herb pork loin. You have a decaf iced tea, and milk. Oh, mm. Ooh, look at that. Yum. What's up, guys? I'm gonna try not to be like too too loud but where everybody can like hear me. We got top surgery. We got top surgery. This probably has to be the most quietest hospital I've ever been in my entire life. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one making noises. But the surgery went great. Everything went great. Dr. Izikoff is phenomenal. Like absolutely. 110% recommend to literally anybody. Great guy, great personality, very, very confident in what he's doing and what he does. And I can't wait to see it. My pain is fine. Like, I don't have that much pain right now. I would say more, it's just like uncomfortableness. Kind of like itchy, almost. I have these little leg things on my legs that like compress and then they decompress and then they compress. And then they decompress. It feel really good. It's like a little massage on your calf. <laughs> or so you can do that for your back. <laughs> so you don't get blood clots. Anymore. Yeah, no blood clots happening in here. <laughs> Look at that. So, yeah, I can definitely feel the flatness. Mm -hmm. I cannot feel my nipples. I know other people said that they can feel that bulge for the nipple thing. I can't feel that. I already smashed my food because I was starving. Do you remember me feeding you jello? Yeah. So good. Orange is my favorite. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is just hang out with Marissa, play around, tell her how much I love her. <laughs> he was trying to spit some game while he was messed up. 
Because <laughs> as he was coming to, I was like at the end of his bed, and I said like, how are you doing, whatever, and he like blinks. He's like, I'm trying to focus so I can see your cute face. <laughs> Some pretty good game. <laughs> Gosh. Come on, anesthesia and everything. Yeah. That's good. But it was cute, uh, I will say. Okay. Mm. And I think right the very like the very first second I saw that I was just like, baby. Yeah. So you can tell it's true enough. Mm -hmm. I will see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow whenever I'm getting picked up. But if I don't I have a flat chest. <laughs> like Looks good. So guys, it is the next morning. So today is Tuesday. Tuesday April 25th. Still have my B in, still have my drains in. I should be leaving here in the near future. They told me, man, and they looked at me, checked out my discharge papers. I think I'm gonna be leaving here soon. I'm excited. Marissa is on their way. We gotta stop and get some payments on the way home. But I'm excited. Down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside, baby. Got it all figured out. Wanna do this right? There's no doubt in my mind, baby. You're the one. And tonight, I am going all the way. Mmm. The way you touch my hand, it all goes away. The things I plan, the things I would say. So as you can tell, we made it home, safe and sound, finally. Marissa has kind of already gotten to see my chest a bit, but not fully as well. And I've only been able to see a handful of it whenever they took off my binder for a second to like check everything and I kind of looked down, but I didn't really get to see much, so. But whenever they did it for Marissa, like checking it one more time, they were standing at the edge of the bed and they just smiled really big, so. They got to see a little bit more, not as much of the scarring or anything, but because there's tape and stuff on that but everything else I feel like uh, it just looks flat and it looks good super happy super pumped about that I have yet to still really see it and I want to do that with you guys so you guys can also see it at the same time that I'm seeing it I know that there's some videos that I've watched of just like the reveal of seeing like trans men finally being comfortable and confident in their skin like they have a lot of emotions with it so I definitely wanted to do that as well like to be able to have that full authentic like scene in it for the first time with you guys um just so you guys can also go through that experience with me so oh yeah we will be working on my drains here in a few minutes in the bathroom so definitely trigger warning so we got a cleveland clinic bag with all of his goodies sent home with us this was the water bottle that he was using in there which honestly was like really good and helpful so we're gonna use this on his like little table and whatnot the biggies that they sent home are like new dressings because we can change the bandages under his binder every few days they said so we'll probably do like every two days because they only sent enough to change it like two or three times we also have dressings for the drains so we have to change those as well not the drains themselves but just the stuff around it so we have a bunch of that stuff and then what what are you doing oh you want to go i know you can't lift you, stop <laughs> moving god it's gonna be a long fucking two weeks and then they sent us home with cups to drain the drains. Left and right, we have to keep them separate because we have to know how much each side is draining. So two separate cups that we're gonna pour the drains into and then you have to pour it from there into these tiny cups because these ones have the exact measurements and then I have to document that, these little pieces of paper. So that way we can keep track of how much left and right is draining every single day. And then we have to bring this with us to his follow-up appointment to make sure that they're draining well before we get them taken out. So, gotta wash the hands. So what she's doing is pinching it at the top of the cord and 
laying the other finger with some soap on it, slide down cord to get all of the blood out of the drain and into this little funnel thing. We unscrew it. Is it left, right? Mm -hmm. We took them from the big cups to the small cups, and then we have to look at the measurements. Okay, so left is 10 cc, it's also 10, and then we just dump. Mm -hmm. And that's how you drain a drain. And then I just rinsed the cups out with water, and then I'm gonna take a paper towel to them. These don't necessarily need to be like sterile, because we're just dumping the blood out anyways, they're just to like catch it, so. But I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> I'm also, I forgot to mention this in my haul. I got a fanny pack that my drains go into instead of clipping it to this and then being in the way if I wanna put my hands here or something. They're down lower to where also gravity is probably a lot more forcing it into there as well. And whenever you're doing that with the drain, like you squished it and then we flipped it, it makes it as like a suction cup. So whatever is and in that's how this, it works. yeah, and it pulls it down into there, so. And then we're gonna get them cleaned up with, we also showed, these are the like giant like washcloths that we got to wipe them down. We're just gonna use these for today, just so he can relax and get into bed quicker. And then we'll probably try to like shower. You ready? Mm -hmm. Kind of nervous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> can't, I don't, I can't cry because it hurt. <laughs> like that blue that looks like bruising is just like the mark that he made. Mm -hmm. So like. It doesn't look like the drains comes out of the surgical hole. No, they make a different hole. They normally go out of the actual surgery hole. Mm -hmm. But he did it differently. It's going to look so good. Mm -hmm. I can't cry because I'm literally in so much pain right now. Do mm -hmm. so your drains feel better too? Mm -hmm. This one still hurts a little, but. Are you pleased? Yeah, it looks good. It did. It looks flat as fuck. Mm -hmm. So it is officially April 25th at like 8 o'clock. You probably saw earlier that we cleaned my drains out and got those all situated. And I took a probably a good solid 40 minute nap. Like always, I would say sleeping has been like the hardest thing to do. I got some food in me and then uh, I've been watching TV. A couple of episodes of a show I started watching. But what I wanted to talk about is I just went into the bathroom to look at my chest for the first time. I obviously did it on camera and I would say that my reaction was what I expected, but I expected to like cry, be super emotional. Honestly, I wanted to, but it's really hard to like take a breath or to like cry. Like I was scared to cry because well, my stomach was hurting, my chest was hurting. So like if I was to cry, it would have been because I was in pain. I don't know, I'm just having some issues with this right drain. The right drain just fucking hurt. The left drain seems fine, but the right drain's fucking hurting me. So I guess I'm a little scared and hesitant and worried about how the nipples look because one nipple bandage looks higher than the other. And obviously I don't want them one to be higher than the other one. And I'm just hoping it's just the bandage is my personal opinion. I hope that's what it is. I just can't wait until like it starts healing and I can start seeing like progress and check and make sure my nipples are still gonna stay on. Other than that, that was all I wanted to talk about. She made two teas today and they're so fucking good. This herbal tea that has like honey in it has been doing tricks with like my throat. I'm just hurting a little bit, but not as much. And then the medicine, I also feel like just makes my mouth dry. So like the coat of honey as well has been helping too. So let's we'll see how tomorrow brings. I know tomorrow I would like to shower my bottom half, like my legs, my butt, my feet, and then probably wash my hair in the morning, but like in the sink. And then try to get that all washed up and get that all together so I don't feel dirty. I did bathe today, but with the wipes. So that's all I have for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know how everything went tomorrow so well thank you for tuning in and if you want to follow along with my journey of my top surgery and everything that came with my top surgery and how everything is with recovery um i'm not just going to be filming my top surgery i'm also going to be filming part of my story and also just like wanting to educate and help everybody else along the way so thanks guys for tuning in i'll see you next time bye